Maybe I'll do it again. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a railing. And um, you can see in this window as I drag this uh, across, drain it up, it makes platform. And the, the original poster wanted to have an independent column, so I have an independent column here, and I'll place it over the railing here. So if it's like this, it's not really a problem. The railing goes right through it. It only has the problem of where the balustrades land. So what you can do is pick this tool up here. This is a uh, wall break tool. And you break the uh, railing there, and you break it there. And now you have balusters that land right on the column. And uh, if you want to have this column so that it uh, is actually like that, and you want this railing to disappear, select the railing, use the invisible tool here to turn it invisible, and bingo, you've got the railing wherever you want it. That would work for a corner or for wherever. So what I'll do is I will create a copy of this column and then I will put it in a corner and I'll pick this corner over here I guess because you can see it and uh, we'll just quickly put that so that it's right at the intersection of the two railings like that. Grab the brake tool, break that railing, break that railing and then we will turn these two railings invisible. And as you can see, it doesn't affect the foundation. It only changes where the railings meet with the, um, with the column.